Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're gonna check out Tribe, which is a cool SAS that lets you create your own community. That means if you have a special niche or topic that you wanna have your own social media type site, this is the way to go. It's easy to set up and it's fantastic. It works just like it would in other social media sites, but you are the owner of it. So this is Tribe, and if you guys wanna check it out, the link will be in the description. It's an affiliate link, it gives me a small commission, and it won't cost you any cent more. All right, so this is our main site, tribe.so, and if you wanna check out the great deal that they have on, check out the link. All right, so there's a lot of things that you are able to create with Tribe, but one of the main things that I wanna show you in this video is how easy it is to implement. Now, you might be thinking, hey, you know what, I can get a developer and create it, but it's gonna take so much money and it's gonna take so much time out of your like time that you have that it's it's such a hassle that try may say everything so easy. This is the community I have right now built and it's community.gsm.mod.com. So you can have your own custom domain, you can use your subdomain or the main domain, just depending on what you wanna use. And it has so many features that it makes it so cool. Now right off the bat, you can see it kinda looks like Facebook, Twitter, or other social media sites because that's the main point of it. You, you have all the great features that these guys already took years implementing, well, you have it available in Tribe. Now you can do quick post, questions, discussion, and blog. You can turn these on or turn them off, but I'm gonna show you right now what the admin panel looks like. So an admin panel, you just gotta go and set up really, really basic things that are easy to do. So for example, the portal name, so it's GSM mod in this case. You got portal long name, so man, that could be like a description or the long name. If it were like abbreviated, then you have the long name. Keywords, email, the language, you got all these languages available. So you got German, French, English, Hebrew, Norwegian, Portuguese, Spanish, and Turkish. You could also set a description and you have the ability to add your own logo, Fabicon, and portal banner. So these that means it's white label, so it's gonna look like it's all yours and it's gonna look like you even created it, but you're actually using tribe in the in, in the back end. Now, other options that we have is portal policies. So you can do all this, community stage, access, registration, cookie consent, email, portal status. You got portal feed, hide always, always hide. So it depends what you wanna use. Portal links. So in this case, if you have your, your free FAQ, you have terms of use, uh, privacy policy, bug reports. So bug reports, if you have like a roadmap or something that you wanna uh, like have there, you can do that. Features request, you can add your social media. In this case, I just added the same one because I wanna show you where, where that is going to show. You got LinkedIn and Telegram and all those. Messages, you can send out messages if you want. So you got sign up rules if you wanna put that. You ask rules, question intro, user intro, topic intro, terms and conditions, and all that good stuff. Also, you can make announcements. You can enable this and create your own announcements. So when you wanna to send to all the community something, you got this option available. So as you can see, it's easy and straightforward to get those things set up. Those are like the basic things that you would set up. Next thing we have is the apps. So in apps, these are extra things that I recommend that you enable depending on what you need to actually get going uh, tribe. So you got the ability ability just to use the welcome email. You can do social login, which I already installed. Now, uh, heads up, if you're gonna install these type of apps, there's a little more tweaking that needs to be involved. So for example, if I wanna install a social media, I, if, I want, if I enable Gmail, then I have to create the API over there so I can connect it, so I have client ID and client secret. Not a big deal, none of, none of this will cost you any cent more. You just have to go into developer account and create this so you get the ID and the secret. Same goes with LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and all those. If you wanna enable groups, so you know how Facebook has groups also, you got pages, you got topics, uh, categories, and there's also groups if you want. Now you can create these public, private, and secret groups, which really helps out because depending on the niche that you want to create your, your, your community, you're gonna use that. Maybe you wanna keep everything secret, you can use that. You can also embed Google Analytics, Virtual currency, right here, so you can reward members, increase engagement, influence use behavior, and define a virtual currency. So that means you can reward people, let's just say, hey, the, whoever contributes the most, they have a reward, and you can set that reward on what you wanna use it for. Is it gonna be money-based? Is it gonna be to um, reward for something else? Is it gonna be a coupon or whatever? Also, you got Facebook Messenger, allow members to receive community notifications on Messenger and er interact with the community right from the mobile. That's pretty cool to use. 
SEO boost so you got the settings for the pages so you can do like description title and all that good stuff right there moderation you got intercom amplitude but uh, they can log in with auth 2.2 uh, JWTSSO I've never heard of it but it's there let's use the login to community all right so it's there Impexium reputation you can boost engagement by uh, scoring members based on community participation you got webhooks and Zapier now this is really cool because from what I've heard with tribe is that every single engagement and thing that happens in tribe can be connected to these to create uh, hooks and Zapier interactions maybe you want to send an email when some something happens or when you know Dependent. There's so many things that you can do with Zapier and Webhooks that it's probably unlimited. JWT authorization, send grid, sign up wall, translation. Oh, this is pretty cool. I just actually saw this translation content posted in other languages to the primary language. So you know how Facebook also has that where you click on it and it'll translate it? That's pretty cool. Then you have Telegram. So you got all these options and they're adding more and more because I didn't actually see these before. So now they're there. So that's pretty cool. I recommend. Like I said, portal settings and the apps. And from there, I recommend you jump in theme. So in theme, you can set the primary button color, secondary button color, default button color, link color, and all of that stuff. That This is going to help you make your site more brandable. So let's just say, for example, you're seeing like an aqua color right here on my logo. Well, I can set these settings to look kind of that color so it looks similar, so it looks more uniform. You can also set the menu right here, hide, background color, border color navigation bar you can enable if you want to change like the height background color font color border color and links and you got advanced settings so in here you got I mean you got css you got enable to use the code right here to in, insert something in the head or the body and html code added sidebars inside the white box so how cool is that and how flexible is tribe pretty cool right next thing we got is members so in members everyone who signs up you'll have them here now it's pretty cool that you can actually have like a verified member thing. So right here I, I got a little blue check mark. So that's a, I think it's pretty cool that we have that option. So if I open it, no, sorry, I'm gonna see what they've done. But if I head over here, settings, edit, we can set the name, username, title, SEO, about you, banner. Um, you got the tick right here. Right, I told you the verified. You can set the role. In this case, I'm an admin. But you got these roles. You got member, moderator, admin, and bot. Bot is pretty cool also because it kind of answers and it gonna look, it's going to look um, like it was a person, but it's actually not. So status, active or inactive. You can set the tribe batch right here, batch type, and delete user if you want to delete them. All right? Pretty cool. Next thing we got is groups. So in this case, I enabled groups. If I didn't enable it, I wouldn't have this option. So in groups, I can add a bunch of groups that I want so I can create them. I got name, group privacy, color, and description. Now, I forgot to mention this, but in apps, the settings will be down here. So you can see app settings. So if I want to set the settings for reputation, I just click on it here, and this is a score for them. So they get a base score of 10. If they ask a question, they get two, create an answer, receive a like on an answer, create a post, and all that. So you incentivize people to contribute more with this system. I really recommend it because it's going to make your community grow even more. So people like this kind of things. The social login where you set the, the ID and the auth code. You got Google Analytics, Facebook Messenger, and SEO Boost. Next thing we got is topics. So topics, you would create these right here. So in this case, they're like categories. So I've created these ones. They're based on my niche. So I recommend that someone who has a really good niche and they want to ex uh, explode, then use create this with tribe content types you got these right here so remember we have enabled quick post question discussion and blog so in this case we can set an emoji and we can set what it's going to call so called so it's quick post right here it can just be called post or whatever you want to set it to to plural and you got questions do you want to enable it if i can remove it or not i want people to ask questions do i want to have discussions yes or no do i want to uh, have people add articles like blog types so in this case you can see this right here i enabled it but i go to advanced options and i got the verb i got the earl so what's the earl going to be placeholder who can post in this case only admins can post blogs so you can do this also with the other ones so you can set members moderators and admins so i don't want um, members to post blogs they can do all the other stuff but not blogs in this case because that's how i set it up I can create description 
and rules that people must follow. Next thing we got is, let's head on over. So this is what it's going to look like. And right here on the left, we got the feed, we got groups and all topics. So in this case, if I want to post something right here, quick post, I got the option to just post like I would on Facebook. So I got the description, I got photo if I want and file. So in this case, I'll just say test and I'll post it. Now people have the option, option to love it, to comment and me since I posted it, I can share it somewhere else. I can report it. I can edit. I can delete it or delete it or I can pin a post. If I want to do a question type, there's two things that you can do like ask community or a poll. So um, just say, what do you think? Right. And I'll ask community. I can create this in a poll so I can create polls right here, add more options if I want and people can vote on that poll. How cool is that? Next thing I can do is a discussion. So right here, what do you want to discuss and kind of like go into depth right, depth right here. Also blog type, I can set it right here. And you got the options right here to view the wall. So this is what the wall would look like. If I head over to all topics, this is right here. I haven't set more topics. I can set groups right here. Am I a member of it or not? So I can moderate or leave group. In this case, I created it. But if someone were to log in like a member, they would see like join group or a leave group. Next thing we got is the reputation. Remember I told you there's a reputation um, app right here that I installed. In this case, I have 18 points. There's no more, there's no more users right here. But what it does, it makes people want to contribute because you see their points going up. It's kind of like a psychological thing that people, hey, you know what? I'm going to contribute because I want to grow. I want to be the top five or top no, number one. And it makes people do that. We can do a search right here, so you can search everywhere. We got notifications. We can add right here from also the like, same thing we would have over there on the on the wall. So it's quick post, questions, discussion, blog, or group. My settings, profile, stats, drafts, account settings, admin, and all that. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna go to stats right here just to show you really quick. There's not all the information because I haven't started using it because I just finished setting it up. I want to get you guys to know Tribe, and this is what I have so far. But you got question, views, answers, and answer both. So you get all these analytics right there. Let me go back. We also have the ability to go to support community and chat with us. I think this is super awesome that there's a community where people talk to each other and there's all these answers and questions that could be like done already. So check, check these out. There's already topics going on here and people talking about it. You can contribute here also say, hey, you know what? Why don't you add this? Why don't you remove that or help out or like, you know what, make the theme even better. So you can do that right there in the support community and you can chat for any support questions. Remember I told you there was a social media icons there right here. See these right there. I've set it to the same place, but you have it there. You can remove it or keep it just depending how you want it. I think Tribe is pretty cool. It's straightforward. It's fast to set up and it's easy to just get started. Now, other things that I just want to show you here on the on the, on the main side is the widgets that you're going to be seeing more information about them. You can create these buying options that I haven't set up, but it's available. There's the API. If you want to go more into depth, you're more like a developer thing. It's an extensive API to capture every single activity in your community. So based on the API, it's basically you can create anything that you want to make it flexible to, like make reports, custom reports for yourself and all that good stuff. The apps that we already talked about, you can see them here also. And showcase. There you go. All right, guys, this is Tribe. And like I said before, if you guys want to grab it, the link will be in the description. Well, guys, my name is George. This is SASMaster, and I'll see you guys later.